All right, Facebook and social media world. Before we get started, so this is this is that like two years ago on that same floor. That was his first dunk, and then that was Jake. <laughs> Regionals, same court. You good? Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, no, no. Introductions. Oh, I know. Start it up. As you can see, we're about to start the game. I think we're running about six minutes early, five, seven minutes early. So we don't know much about the other team, but you got it. Um, but they do have one tall player, 42, and going to get get the prayer out of the game. The wild, the Wildcats. The Wildcats are in white. Some are from Tennessee. That's about all we know. Welcome to our three viewers. Yeah. All, all, my wife, my mother, and my mother-in-law. Okay, Smith. So, Smiths are well represented. Good representation in the Smith family. We yeah. love it. So here we are on March 4th, a couple minutes before 6 p.m., the beginning of the uh, East Coast Nationals tournament. These first three games will be pool play. Yeah. So pool play and then bracket play starts on Thursday. Refs giving a little bit of love to the Wildcats. We'll see if that transpires in the game, but <laughs> well, this will be an interesting tip. We've got uh, double zero Jake White against their tall guy. So we've got Titus Smith, Ian Garno, Jake White, Cougar Dotson, and Aiden Hustleston out yeah. on the court. Hustle Huddleton. Jake gets well, up there. Jake, Titus. Uh, Jake got up there, but it was. Uh, Covered by the Wildcats. Jake. Jake with the block. That's, that's where we want that box out on number 42. Yeah. That did not happen that way. Sorry. Man. No, no. <laughs> Stay in here, Brandon. Titus with an attempt. Jake with the rebound. All right. They're running their 3 2 on the defense. Well, turnover. Titus with the turnover and maybe a foul, but no call. Double zero says, I'll show you what a foul is. <laughs> yeah, foul on zero. Like we were going to get a foul. We were going to get a foul either way. Yeah. <laughs> But he, he was, uh, he had ball. He wasn't just arm. Zero three, six and 50 to go in the first. Gage checks in for Titus. And he makes them both. Zero four. Faith playing against the man to man. See if we can find a matchup that we like. Gage will try a shot. Gage, it's good. Gage, yeah, nice shot from the elbow. Double G. Yeah, yeah thanks, uh, thanks, Ian, for that, right? Yeah. Gage. There we go. Travel. He, uh, Gage bided him up and drew the travel. Two to four. Oh. 
Jake drives and they call the foul. And they're going to give him free throws yeah. on there. Wasn't sure if they were going yeah, before wasn't that. Sure. I've, yeah. seen, I've seen many calls go the other way where it's side out of bounds or underneath the basket. Yeah. Or... They got him in the act of shooting. He makes his first. Right. Let's watch Cougar here. Let's see how Cougar does against their big guy for a rebound. And he makes his second. Cougar knew Jake was going to make knew, shot, yeah. so it was never in doubt. <laughs> now they work the ball inside, get a quick mid-range shot, no good. Ian can't control. Going to get a bounce pass down low, but Ian steals it, saves it. Jake able to recover it. That's why we hustle. Don't save it under the basket, right, Coach? No, don't save it under their basket. Exactly. <laughs> Jake for three. I guess he still remembers uh, from regionals how to keep shooting that three. Yeah. Getting some. What's that? Okay. Ah, he's affected with his first season. But Gage does a good job of not getting a foul early. Yeah, yeah I can't see that half when it's. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Right. Gage is fouled on the dribble. Looks like Ian needs a breather. Or maybe not. Hustleston. Oh, yeah. yeah. Titus in for Aiden. Oh, Ian unable to control it all the way. Ian. Yeah. I think he had an extra hand on that dribble. Jake with a nice deflection, but they really get it back. Here's a three on his way short. He was going to rebound it. It's off the top of uh, where a shot clock would be if they were running one. Falcon ball. Seven to six, four and 20 to go. Ian, nice drive. Oh. I yeah, thought he was going all the way there, but he... Yeah, he, uh, last minute, Ian kicked that, tried to kick it back out to Jake. Deflected out of bounds, so it'll be faith ball. Ooh. Out of bounds. Ball kept ball. They're setting up high for their 3-2. I haven't seen any picks coming like this. We'll see what that does. Corner three on its way, short. And offensive rebound by the Wildcats. Another corner three, that's short as well. That's almost in. Gonna get a foul on Titus, trying to knock the ball out of the uh, offensive guy on the rebound. I think he put up four fingers. I'm not sure he got his Okay. He might not need any Gage with a good deny. Yeah. And back the other way we come. Jake tips that over. Jake to likes Jake what he sees three. and he releases oh. it. Cougar with a nice rebound and put yeah. back. Yeah. Nice rebound and put back Cougar. It's two points for number one four. Yeah. Good help defense. They try the wing. Now they'll try a three. And it's good. We have not seen uh, strong three-point shooting yet. And we're tied at nine. It's interesting, they're not going into the big guy. Yep, we'll take that. Yeah. Jake likes his look, I like it too. Yeah. It's down for three. Thank you, uh, Ian Garno, for that. There we go. Gonna get all the way home. Hey, they need travel here. Oh, yeah. Sorry with the camera there. Yeah, no, you're they good, man. That was travel. exciting. Yeah, they, they got the steal. And Dad almost wondered if he was going to see a dunk attempt. Broke, broke away, but uh, oh, that pesky travel. Still nice defense that set up that steal. There we go. 
Their post play, their 42 was one of the guys I would have looked to on that play. He looked yeah, kind of open on the weak side. He had a, he had position on Cougar, but the best part is the other team didn't bother to look at their teammates. So uh, Ian drives in and loses the handle. And uh, here's their three. It's on its way. Long Cougar to deflect gets control, and uh, we're gonna get a foul on Cougar. Cougar. Oh, no, no, it's on the Wildcats. Yeah, yeah interesting. He pointed, uh, he pointed the other direction, but uh, yeah, I thought I saw a one and a four, which they don't have see, a one yeah. and a four. I thought he pushed off, but that's good. Boys are working it around. Falcons continue to actually run their offense. That's a nice thing to see. Good patience, gets to a good shot. Oh, yeah. Gets Cougar. another good three. I think that was from Ian as well. Yeah. Gage going to foul here. I think 42 is going to be asking for the ball a little bit more. Yeah, we got to pick them up earlier. We're going to get our first time out of the game. I believe it's the Wildcats calling it. Yep. But, uh, hey, the Falcons are here to play. They're not... Uh, just lying down, right? Oh, absolutely not. It's uh, 15 to 11 here. One and a quarter to go in the first. I've, I've seen three threes drop. Two yep. by Jake, one by Cougar. So. Yep. I think they just got to make sure Gage stays on the big guy. And when he gets a shot, sometimes he's just going to have to let him take the shot. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely don't jump into him with contact. Not a good idea. Just play him straight up. And then when once he shoots it... Get your position, box him out. Try to limit him yep. best you can. Best you can, yeah. Tip your head if he gets the point because he yeah. is six six. He does have a pretty good reach. And I was I'm watching. Pretty, pretty sure, oh, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that timeout was to remind the guys about the tall guy on the team. So. Kind of interesting when the tallest player on the court doesn't get remembered when he's standing by the basket most times. It's good. Yeah, and he makes it. Three-point play for him. Jake with the mid-range. Feeling oh, confident. Oh, yeah. That was a nice drive and little stop and pop there for number zero. Really love that addition to his game this year. That baseline was open. And I can see the uh, their defense is a little tighter on Cougar and Jake. Ian with the strong drive. Kick it out to Titus. Find Jake. Jake looking to drive. Fouls a shot. Shots. Oh. Short on both. Titus with the reach, not able to get it. And we go back the other way. Wildcats with a chance to cut it down to one or tie. On the ground. Good defense. Up, up, Jake is able to tip it. Behind you, Cougar. Hands up. Ian deflects. Yeah. Taking advantage of those angles and deflecting the ball. 7.9 seconds left to go in the first. Here's a corner three on its way. Way off. Titus is going to get hit. And I think that pass it counts. Let's see the score. Yep, they counted it. So 17-16 Falcons after the first. I think the refs are saying right there. Yeah, Did be, you see uh, a flop there? Or was I don't it think like... I saw a flop. I think he, he ext I think he extended really high to try to get that ball. And the speed just came out from underneath him. I didn't know if maybe the other guy was able to also get his hands on the ball. Well, there, yeah, they have the strength to pull it from Titus there. Yeah. 
either way, uh, we got ourselves a tight game. Yep. Falcons not really known for high scoring consistently, so a 17 point first quarter is not bad. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I think they'll continue to still guard Cougar and Jake tight on the outside. But. Well, that's where you hope they get some good, good screens for them, right? Yeah. They get to start with the ball here, second quarter about to start. They don't mess around here in Tennessee. Cougar drives. Move. He's going to get grabbed. Yeah, he gets his arm gets grabbed on. Nice hustle, Cougar, to get the ball from the other court. But he got fouled on the way up. They've got these uh, nice curtains here on this facility, but I, for the life of me, I cannot figure out why they don't drop them yeah, to stop the ball. Yeah, the ball, yeah. and we could have, and yeah. it will reduce the noise each game, right? Nice job, Cougar. It makes his first. 18-16. It makes a second. Two for two on that trip. 19-16. Ian almost going to get his hands on that. Gage with a nice straight up block. Good block and in control of that. Does that count as a block and a rebound, Coach? I think just the block. How do you stat that one? I think just the block. Okay. But he wasn't going to let go of it. No. Oh. Jake with a spin move. It looks like there was a hand on his wrist, but that could be partial. Oh, our first oop of the game, but doesn't go anywhere. 40, oh, that's not our whistle. My apologies. Four and three, good. Ties it up at 19. Oh, nice. There's a good. strong move by Ian, and it's oh, he got hit two times on the way to that hoop. Still would have liked to see yeah. him finish on that. Good reach by Cougar, but I think that's going to be a foul first. So. He moved his feet well on the play. Yeah, he was on the side. He earned it. Falcons get good pressure. Hey, they're big guys. He doesn't even look there. He finally touches the ball. He's going to kick it out corner. Another corner three. We've seen games where that's called travel. Not here at the Nationals, though. Where he does the gather and the hop little, step. Yeah, catch the ball, then hop. So the Falcons have now trail by three. Cougar strong drive, gets a hit, catches it, tries to throw it out of bounds. He's fouled on the I throw. I think we're going to get a foul on the Wildcats, number 40. And uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that one was a shooting. Yeah. <laughs> Under the so, basket, so. So Aiden checks in and Cougar checks out. Gives him a breather. Hustle spin. A missed shot for Jake. Yeah. I think that pass caught him off guard. Yeah. I, a lot of times that pass doesn't get over there as quickly as it did. He wasn't even to a spot all the way there. Yeah, they, they skipped past it over the end. 19-22. Titus with Titus. the drive. He's going to get it all the way home. Yeah. There it is. Nice drive. Not sure how he got through the lane like that. So open, but open. we'll take it. Jake with a nice deflect. Trying to move the ball quickly. Jake with a nice hustle steal. And hustle spin with the ball. Oh! He's going to miss it, but I guarantee he's going to hustle back and get picked. But he stays with it. Get... Hmm. Oh, man. Uh, 
Probably not wise to gamble on the. Yeah. But uh, you gotta stay tight. Yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough play. Jake looks to drive, and he does, and he takes his mid range. No, does not drop. Oh, I still like the look. He's got a hand right on his, on the ball, right when he shoots. It's good D. Another corner three. Boy, looks like we may have had some internet connectivity issues, but we'll still keep pressing on. Titus hands it off to Ian. 21 to 27, four to go. In the second. Ian looks to drive. Nope. Picks on both sides. Ill advised pass over the top, pass gauge, turnover. And they'll try another corner three. He's feeling it. And uh, strong three point shooting has led to a nine point lead here. See what the Falcons can do. Jake, going to try to drive again. Takes it all the way home and oh. well, he had the answer, but it just doesn't fall. Here's another drive, shot on its way, no good. Titus with the defensive rebound, gets it to Ian. Ian really hustled to get back into position on that. Coach is gonna call a timeout. Just four points here in the second quarter for the Falcons after that 17 point start. So hopefully we can remember offense. 21 to 30. Yep. Three and uh, two seconds to go in the second. Yeah, not sure what coach is thinking. Maybe you switch to man, but then that's a tall task, so whoever uh, has to call the big guy. I think that the discipline has to be making sure that you've seen these corner threes drop. You, you gotta, gotta kind of cheat out a little bit. Yeah, you gotta get out there. So, 13 4 run by the Wildcats. But we know, I think we talked about this, how games have runs. Oh, yeah. And you have highs, you have lows. Yep. And it's time to find out what you're made of. Yep. You got a little bit of perseverance in you or not. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, uh, nine points is not uh, not the end of the game for That's sure. That's just like three made threes by Jake and Cougar, yep. and they're like right back. I don't need a three on this possession. I just see, I like to see a quality uh, basket. Yeah, quality attempt here. Yep. Age gonna attack, loses his balance, kicks it out to Titus. Ian's got a nice look. It's pretty deep. Oh, I think it's it, the front end of that butt. Yeah. Rim. Too deep. They push it. They look to push it again from the top of the key. That's way off. Gage with the defensive rebound. Gets it to Titus, and they're going to get a foul. Good spin, good spin of Gage to draw that. There's nowhere here that they display uh, team fouls, so no idea how close we are to five. I don't know when we're going to get free throws. Titus has a good look. Tries to drive, not there. He'll find Aiden. Kicks it out to Gage. Gage tries to mid-range, short. But he's gonna get fouled on the ball. So Gage will have two free throws with 2.10 to go here in the second quarter. No, no change in the score. Hopefully after this after trip this, to yeah. the line, there'll be a change in the score. Looks like uh, no. you got the nothing but the bottom of the net, but yeah. on the, outside the rim. Yeah. We could see a bank shot. He will probably adjust for it. Ian with a nice position gets an offensive rebound. Jake's, Jake's got a good look. Three. Yeah. Ian, cash money. One, two, three for Jacob. Thank you, Mr. Garner. Wildcats really. I've noticed they're definitely trying to move the ball much, much quicker. The big man catches it, but he's not able to get what he likes, so they kick it back out. A lot of contact, no calls. We're gonna get one here, I think, on Mr. Hustleston. 
And JJ will get his first action of the game. Titus will come get a breather. Three on its way off the mark. Ian was, yeah. Yeah, nice box out rebound, yeah. Strong rebound, I like it. Looks to push. He might go all the way. Doesn't like it, kicks it out to Jake who says, oh. I'm gonna try a corner three. He check? I don't know, I don't think so. He's got three of them. We're gonna get a foul here, but kids didn't hear it. Another one on Jacob. I got a feeling that Jake got hit on that shot and that was a uh, retaliatory foul. Jake's pretty good about staying disciplined on fouls, so even though that's a second, I have confidence he's not gonna look to foul himself out. Yeah, he knows that that's a second with one to go in the first half. Another miss, but the deep rebound leaves an easy offensive rebound, so though they don't convert, Stays Wildcat ball. Hit coming left. I think they switched to man. And the blow by. Now they got full court. Oh, man. Yeah. Strong drive. And Aiden comes up with it. Oh, yeah. How about that? How yeah. about that? He gets that ball out of the corner and squirts it right by their big guy. Yeah. We're down to 22 seconds. Aiden with the hustle on the rebound. We got a three on two. What's going to happen? Aiden South. gets a nice look for three. Oh, yeah. Oh. It looked good. It did. Oh. Well, we're going to get a foul on JJ. Yeah. He's got, he brought five with him. He's going to make sure he uses some of them. Yeah. yeah, they called JJ for a push. 7.4 to go. 26.32. He's able to knock it off of 20, and it's going to go faith ball. Faith ball with under a second. Let's see what we can draw up here with a second. Uh, yeah. And Ian full court shot. Nope. He didn't turn it over and give up a basket, yeah, so that, I'm no, happy with that. That floater, <laughs> that floater pass made me a little nervous yeah. there, but uh, float pass right by your own basket. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but they uh, they in the uh, in the half 26 32, six point difference. So they knock the nine point lead down to six. Yeah, yeah. What do you what do you think that they? I think they got to continue to get back to that three two defense or their three one one. However you want to observe that. Yeah. I think man to man doesn't favor them. I think that uh, all that does is lead to more kick out threes. Or easy blow buys. Yeah, it's just it's not really uh, it's not really what they play. Yeah, if they can't if they can't steal the ball up high with that three two. My uh, my humble opinion would be uh, it's it's tough it's tough to stay in there. But hopefully they can get a couple deflections with it they had, if they stay in it. They have been deflecting yeah. quite a few passes. I think it's just that forty five on their team got really hot, knocked yeah. down three or four corner threes, and it's like, uh, yeah, that yeah. Can... you got to stop that. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough because you're right. If they, uh, and if they go out and guard him, that leaves the center open. And yep. It's tough. It's tough. And obviously, they're a good team. We're playing here tonight, and so you never know. Maybe, maybe their shots dry up here in the second half. Well, it's first quarter we saw a lot of three-point attempts not fall for them. Second quarter, they started falling. Yeah. For our guys, we were hitting the threes in the first quarter a lot more. That yeah. quarter, the well seemed to run a little dry. So, yep. but it looks, uh, like, uh, looks like Coach Nichols is coming in with the uh, stat information, fouls and stuff to share with the boys. I'm gonna go run across this 
the street here to yeah. check with Deanna and see if anybody's in any kind so of snap foul a, trouble. Snap a photo of it. We'll share points and uh, fouls at the half. Okay. There goes Brandon hustling over, getting some stats. <laughs> Looks like we got six uh, six people sh uh, watching here, so welcome to this uh, episode of uh, Faith Falcons basketball. 40 seconds to go here in the uh, halftime. Short halftime here in the tournament. We start in the third period with 26 to 32. Boys will be playing uh, just one one game per day in this tournament, so they've got one game each day. First three days are pool play, and then Thursday and Friday they'll play their bracket once they get seated into a bracket. Halftime's over. Halftime's <laughs> over. That quick. Let's hope uh, hope my pictures don't let me down. I can confirm to you that the leading scorer is your son, Jacob White. Oh, well. 13 first half points. Well, he needs about six more. Two fouls. Cougar Dotson also with two fouls. And then just JJ and uh, Titus. Looks like they got one each. Oh, and Gage, 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 Gage should have Gage. one too. Yeah. Gage has one. So. How else are we doing on points? Who else are the scorers? Uh, Cougar is our probably our second leading scorer. He has seven. Deep three for the Wildcats. Oh, nobody there to grab the rebound. Yeah, it was and off. Came off that. Might have got away with a travel, but Jake's able to control a defensive rebound and back to game. Yeah. Aiden will try a corner three. Not there. Jake with a great way to hustle it down. Offensive rebound. They're quick to close out that gap. Ian, Ian likes what he sees. Oh, oh that! If, if you ever felt cheated, yeah. that one kind of felt cheated. All right. the way around. Oh, they do not get out there. Jake nope. with the rebound. And we're going to see right, change, change of the half here. We got your Faith Falcons going from left to right. Cross your radio dial. We got to figure out what radio station we can broadcast this thing on. <laughs> that's a, that's on the AM dial. Yeah, the yeah. AM dial. That's a, a nod to the old George Blahouse Spartan radio. Yeah. Cougar's going to get a nice opportunity here. He fires away. I guess the bank's not yeah, open was, this late at night. He set himself up with a nice dribble, but... Uh, Still 26 to 32. Oh, oh. They did not take advantage of. Uh, oh. oh, but they, they, they want passed, to live by the three, I they guess. They passed up the two for a three. Yeah, that's. Gage with the drive all the way. He's going to try a little English off the backboard. Yeah, he does not draw the contact. There. No whistle on that. And they hustle back and uh, wow. Jake with the rebound. Gage up to Gage. I think he's going to get a foul this time. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a little bit confused because 45, they only should have two threes. But. Maybe was there another guy? Maybe it was this shared between a couple guys. Number 20 has four threes. Because he had three in the first half, and he just hit that other one. Oh, Gage. Gage, nice move. Yeah. Not affected Cougar. by the height. I like it. Cougar, Cougar into Gage, and Gage does a nice job of just getting that to the bottom yeah. of the net. Yeah. This will be Gage's last tournament here as a Faith Falcon. Nice deflection oh, by stay Jake. With, stay with him, Jake. Stay with him. Don't let that big guy walk around in there. Good help, defense. Backdoor oh. cut. Gage there to... Yeah, Gage drew a little contact. The help was right. Yeah. 
Well, Cougar got uh, lost his guy and got his guy blew by him behind his back, and and he'll go to the line. It's only second one on gauge, so not in trouble. Yeah. 28, 35, 5, and 15 to go here in the third. Let's see if Ian can get a nice box out. Not bad. Yeah. He's there. Cougar looking to drive. He gets through and he's able to finish. Yeah. He might have got tripped up on that too. It was a nice drive from Cougar. Back to a six point game. Oh. And a, and a miss. Yeah, and miss. Cougar able to control it on the defensive rebound. Jake's going to get a nice opportunity, it looked like. He lost the dribble, but he's going to gonna go collect. So now Cougar looks to make a play. Oh, yeah, he'll take advantage of that. Uh, I like the idea, but I think Cougar rushed himself a little bit on that one. Aiden's going to pick up a foul there. Drew some contact from behind. That would have been a big three. That would have cut the lead down to three. Instead, we go the other way. We'll see what happens this way. Yeah, uh, Gage. Yeah, it's too much distance to catch yeah. up. Too much distance. I'm... If I'm the other team, that's exactly yeah. what I'm looking to do. My guy's on the block right where he wants it. Get him the ball. Ian loses it off his foot. Jake there to recover it. Goes back to Ian. He's going to blow it by and get fouled on the ground. Yeah. It's a good drive. I'm, still, I'm trying to figure out what defense they're in. I think they made an adjustment. I can't quite tell. Still seems like it looks more man to man than a zone of any kind. Nice thing went. Jake tries a three, think air balls it, but thankfully Aiden's able to get an offensive rebound there. Yeah, that was not a pretty looking shot. No, and Jake is swatting the other guy's hand away, which suggests to me that he's been kind of getting harassed out there a little bit. Cougar will try for redemption, not there, and they're going to let it just go out of bounds. Come on, boys, keep it up, keep it up. 30-38. Let's go, Falcons! So we're back in another quarter where we're looking at only four points at about the three-minute mark for the Falcons. Wow. A great move and a great finish. Biggest deficit of the, of the yeah. night. Ten points. Looks like you're leaving a guy in the paint to help a defense. But... There's a nice mid-range shot from Ian. It's oh, off. Nice. Cougar able to rebound it. And uh, Gage has got to track it down. Yeah. Oops, sorry about that. Gage, uh, Gage touches the ball to uh, stop the play for an over and back off. Uh, Gage steps out. Titus is back in. 30 to 40, 10 point difference. They look a little flat out there right now. This third quarter. Yeah. Can you get JJ back in? Titus with the big guy. And he just overpowers yeah, him and uses his size. He's just right there. That's where you see Gage makes a difference there because he's able to take that kind of contact. Ian loses it but gets it back to Cougar. Cougar tries going all the way. He's going to kick it to Titus who finds JJ. Goes for a mid-range. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job, uh, JJ. A couple dribbles and then he goes. So I know it was a long time of dribbles, but you still give the assist to Titus? No, we'll leave that one to Coach. Okay. Oh. Cougar sells out on the block to change it to a mid-range. Yeah. And hey, gets the shooter's bounce. Yeah, that's a favorable bounce off the back side of that round. And now they are back down 12. See, see how they respond. Cougar looking to... JJ drives, he loses it. On the travel, but no call. Jake looking to drive. Makes a nice move, but he's coming up short. I think when you get hit on the arm, it may affect how strong the shot is. But 
Nice corner look, way along. Cougar controls. We got a two on two. Cougar wisely just backs it up and says, "Let's let's do this right." JJ will try. Gets it to Titus, who gets it. Uh, gets it uh, a senior SWAT there. Cougars short on the shot. Jake tries to get there, can't. And back we go. Still 12 point differential. One, one minute to go here in the third. Jake with the rebound. I think we also seem a little antsy on like closeouts. Selling out on jumps and things, which usually leads to other people getting open pretty easy. Ian looks to drive, but find Titus, who's open, but I don't think he's seriously going to try. Yeah. Fourteen seconds. Ian, deep three, air ball. Jake will try to save. I think he's going to, that's a, that would have been a hard one to get. So four seconds, blows the whistle with four seconds to go in the third. Just a six point quarter here for the Falcons. Shot, oh, oh. So Falcons get doubled up, 12 six sack quarter. Looking for that 17 points again in a quarter. We need something like that. Yep. Yeah, just 15 points between second and third quarter, folks. Maybe that. Too much travel. Maybe too much. Uh, well, maybe ice cream. They hit the Dairy Queen today and get some ice cream. Maybe that elevation taking a toll. As yeah. It, then about. But yeah, they look a little nine, tired. Nine days since the last game. Yeah, and they did since uh, since their last game, and now they did enjoy uh, uh, their banquet, the yeah. team banquet. So they handed that out a lot of awards. <laughs> looks like we got nine uh, nine watchers here at this point. So welcome the additional people. Yeah. not let the numbers hopefully get us too nervous as we're announcing this big game here for the Falcons. I think we were in pool play, so I yeah, yeah. don't think I'm sweating it out too bad yet, Coach. No, no, it's not. Let's go, Cooler. Keep the energy. Keep the energy keep going. Don't quit. Don't quit. Come on, Jay. Keep the energy. Keep, keep the energy. Keep going, guys. Let's don't go. stop. Now we start the fourth. Eight minutes to go in this contest. Jake gets a good look. Comes off a little bit. And then Wildcats look to push it up. Got to stop ball. Jake almost blocks that. Oh, Ian tries Ian to. Ian just yeah. a little bit short. Of Ian caused enough of an interference there. Yeah. Titus looking to get it to a ball handler. Would not like to see them around the back, but that's kind of his MO for the whole season. Ian's looking for a spot to drive in. There he goes. Titus gets an offensive rebound, finds Cougar for three, and oh, it's yeah. good! Thank you, Titus Smith, for your offensive yeah. rebound and assist. Yeah, that was great, uh, great work there to keep that ball alive for the faith, and Cougar sends it home with three points for us. I'll see if the defense can turn it into offense. Good help defense. A lot of yeah, Ian did a good job there, not getting three short. Falcons look to push. They're going to get it pulled. Oh, yeah. We got a foul. We can't Keep it up, Cougar. Oh, stop. Thirty-five, forty-four. Don't need a three, but it would be nice to get a basket here. Oh, Ian had a good cut there. And Cougar didn't find him. Ian looking hard. He's going to do his patented spin move. And hey, nice spin. Nice Coach's got to call timeout and talk about it. Yeah. 
We got ourselves a 44-37 ball game. Yes, sir. Don't look now, Falcons fans. <laughs> it's all it takes, a couple good bounces. I think George Blaha may have influenced that too, right? We'll get some uh, input here from the, the crowd. That's, hey, got ladies, Mrs. can we get some input from the crowd? We got Mrs. Dotson here. And Mrs. Yeah. <laughs> We got some of the, the girls squad. Yeah, come on, girls, wave. You're live on Facebook. Woo! We got more. Uh, yeah, more faith down here. Faith, faith, faith. Yeah, took a trip. Yeah. To say they can't contain excitement. Yeah. That might be an uh, overstatement. They're waiting to. This is waiting to see him. So Wildcat ball coming out. We truly are the road team. Yeah, we're not from Tennessee, so. Yep. Good defense. Ah. Ian's got the call. Oh, hey, great deflection. We're going to get a two on one. He's going to take it all the way and score. Yeah. Great job, Jake White. Let's go, Keith. Keep it up. Keep it up. And now we're down to five. That belief starts to grow when yeah. they come back. I don't think that's what the other uh, coach had in mind when he called that timeout. No. Here's the drive. He's going to look to kick. Good help defense. Good help defense. Kick that back out. That is not the look you want to give up. And no. it's going. Yeah, we paid for that. Heads up, guys. Heads up. Keep your eyes up. No easy steals. This is a good shooting squad here. Yeah, they are. Good ball movement. Ian looks to stay in rhythm. Loses it. Will corner three be good this time? Short. But Ian's able to offensive rebound. Titus looks to drive, finds Ian, who tries his spin. Oh, and oh my goodness! Oh! Oh! oh. But we got a still. We got a basketball to play. Oh! Oh! They got Ian on the ground. 3-0 on that contact one. on the arm. But that was a really nice bounce pass from Titus into Ian, and then Ian somehow got that to just kiss off the glass. Forty is convinced he's shooting free throws, but it's called on the right. ground. Yeah, the referee was quick to point down for that. Yeah. We're going to get a substitution for the Wildcats. So they take the big guy on. I mean, that's a kind of a surprising move to me. Yeah, six-point game here with five to go. They must want them to shoot threes. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure who they subbed in for, but... Uh... The main thing I don't want to see is... Well, Oh, yeah. Got a little too cute with it. Yeah, yeah. number 40. Yeah, look. yeah, you can't do that. Coach doesn't like that. Showboating doesn't always lead to success, does it, Coach? No. I prefer two points over that. Yeah. Good, we let's roll to save some time on the clock. Ian. Double bounce pass to Cougar. Jake trying to find something. He gets it poked away. They fall down, but are able to get it to their player. Kind of an interesting moment in the game. Can the Falcons keep up the defensive pressure? Are they going to give up open shots? JJ's going to get a reach. Uh, All contact, no ball that time, Coach. Yeah. All, I should say all arm oh, yeah, and no the, ball. Uh, the referee clearly saw that. Yeah. Good, um, good call. And we, got Ga we got Gage back in the game here, too. Oh, step out. Kind of foul trouble. He's going to drive. He's short. Jake there with another Jacob. defensive rebound. Good work by Jacob White. I think he still likes to play basketball. Oh. Ian surveying. Oh. oh. No wonder he was so wide open. Yeah, I did not hear when they called the timeout. But... I believe that's our uh, Falcons call in that timeout, too, yeah. coach. Yeah, clearly it was soon enough. I, was I know. We were. And yeah. the referees. Yeah, that's uh... They must have called that early enough for uh, the Wildcats heard that to stop playing. It looked like Ian missed the layup too, so it was too wide maybe, open. maybe the timeout was a good thing. 41-47, another four minutes and two seconds to go in the contest. See, they're more on the pace for a quarter like they had in the first quarter. Yeah, six-point game. Falcon ball coming out of the timeout. Go guys, come on Cougar. Keep it up, keep it up. Go, no Ian. quit, no quit. Keep Let's it up, go, Falcons. Ian. 
Nice screen by Ian. Nice. Yeah, we're getting a lot of screens. Ian's poking around. Up. I'm trying to switch everything. Ian will try to take it in. He's going to get doubled. Gets it out to Gage, who tries to drive all the way, and he's going to get contact. Give him two free throws. So he got pushed on the way to the hoop. Yep. Drove him out of the way. I'm guessing Gage is going to put it over the basket this time. That looks good. Oh, that was all oh, yeah. Fourth quarter, man. It, it means something. Yeah. He makes his first. Second one's good, too. Yeah. Two for two on that trip. It's always easier when you don't even bother to use the rim. You just use all net. Those were beautiful shots. They were. Five-point game. Four, four point game. A four point yeah. game. Excuse me, coach. Shot no good. Oh, Gage. Strong rebound. Gage out to Jake. Out good to rebound. To Jake. This is a nice, exciting game. 45 wants to show us how, how excited he is by shuffling those feet extra. Jake's looking for a reset. They really can afford to be patient. They don't have to force. A little aggressive on that one for yeah. me. Went hard, but, but uh, uh, he had to. He had a guy yeah. in his face. Under three minutes to go. Jake's going to be put on the one on one. Instead, they hand it off. Mid shot. Oh, not quite there. Wildcats can't, Wild can't save it. It's going to be Falcon Ball. Good hustle by them, but. Good hustle, but uh, all for not. That's faithful. Clearly. We could be down to a single possession here if uh, all turns out right on this possession, Coach. Yeah. Gage in a little bit of trouble, but yeah. he's able to get it out to Cougar, who's going to drive. Takes his shot, and it's yeah. good. Falcons just yeah. down two now with two and 20. That's a great shot for Cougar just driving in. And I got to give a heads uh, or a good call there to Gage. He just, he knew he was kind of jammed up. Wisely passed out. Oh, the lane is open. Shot no good. Ball's going to go out of bounds. No, he's able to save it. He threaded that needle. Corner three, no. Oh. Jacob with a nice deflection. And yeah, gets the, gets the call. Yeah. We could be looking at a tie he or was, a lead yeah. here, Coach. He was able to secure that ball and spin enough to draw that foul. We're going to get a timeout by the Falcons. Coach Irvin likes what he sees. And I got to give a call, a call out here to Coach Nichols. Coach Nichols, he had a he had a good feeling about this game, so uh, yeah. he thought they matched up pretty well and would do okay. So I think he was right on the money with that call. I, I agree. 45-47 with just under two minutes to go here in the contest. So I got a, a crowd question that came our way. They were they were wondering if we have any sponsors yet. No sponsors towards our announcing. So oh, yeah. I'm well, gonna I'm gonna say no at this point. Well, I, I I can say well maybe if my if you allow my JV to feed over into the announcing, okay. you know we're always always getting a lot of help from ADD Concrete. So for those uh, for those uh, in the, uh, the concrete business there, ADD, give them a call. They're doing yeah. a lot of work in Saginaw, picking up some new business in Macomb. So okay, they uh, proud sponsor of the JV squad. So. All right, Faith Ball coming out of the timeout. Well, we talked about having to have perseverance to come back and how games are part of runs and highs and lows. The Falcons had some lows there between quarters two and three. Fourth quarter, they didn't lay down, they didn't quit. They're coming right back. It's more important to get a quality possession here than it is to try to be fast. Gage with the oh! Bolt of lightning. Very good blow by. These are the Falcons fans yeah. coming alive now. I haven't seen him move that fast since the breakfast bar opened up. That's right. Whoa! Oh. 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 
Hawkins ball. Minute 12 to go, tie game. And we're going to get another timeout. This time by the Wildcats. He wants a full. Yeah. If you believe in momentum, momentum swung. Yeah. If you if you can make the comeback to where you get it all the way to a lead or a tie, yep. now you got something. Yeah, their, their big guy thought he had a clear path to the lane, which he did, but uh, the pass was behind him. So uh, Coach Nichols is going to the table to probably verify uh, fouls. Their uh, Wildcat coach is very animated here. Well, we saw a 44-32 third yeah. quarter ending, and we have a 47-47 game. Yeah. I like numbers, Coach, so yeah. that, that tells me, uh, what, 15-3 to in this fourth quarter Falcons. Yeah, got to like that. So that's what's so exciting about basketball. The ups, the downs. It makes that ice cream at the, after the game taste that much better. <laughs> yeah. Sprinkles for the winners. That's right. A little bit of pressure here from the Wildcats. And Plenty of time this possession to be patient and get a good look, good shot. If you got something, then take it. But, oh, we're going to get some contact there between yeah, Ian and... Uh, uh, he's uh, really... He's really enthusiastic when he gets three. Yeah, he's going to get a reach and foul. Going to get some clapping by the Falcons fans here. It looks like he put uh, put two hands on him. Don't know the foul situation, but I think we're getting, we're closing in on five here. Oh, Ian get a big, oh, nice move. Him. He got help. Gage going to be calm with it. Not going to force anything. We're down to 46 seconds. Plenty Hold for one, Coach? I think, <laughs> I mean, you know what? I think so, right? Because the worst, you go into overtime. Yeah. Just depends on what kind of pressure they get. Uh, if, they, if they pressure them and they're wide open for an easy layup, I think you take the bucket. But, yeah, they do not have a shot clock, so they can hold on. 27, to 27, 25 seconds to go. Yeah, these guys are a smart, smart play. Jacob's got to be strong. Good. I like the timeout here. Yeah. Yep. Break up the flow of the game. Reset the deck. Yeah, uh, 13, you got down. 13, yes, sec oh, yeah. 13 seconds to go. And, and that was, uh, you know, hopefully maybe they call a, a design to play here. Yeah. And uh, give them an opportunity for a good shot. I think down to 13, that guy was pretty good defense on Jake. So yeah, might not have been able to get a free for a pass. We got 10 viewers now. Look at it. Our, our, our viewership is just skyrocketing throughout this game. I know. We've, uh, so. I think we started at three. We're up to 10. So, so if, you, if you guys like the commentary, uh, please let Brandon know. Send all, send all comments if you like it. If you don't like it, it says uh, my mom's watching. Yeah. If you don't like it, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. Hit, yeah. the, hit the mute button. Yeah. Hit the mute button. You can, you can always turn the volume off. Yeah. It gives us to add something to do rather than yelling. Yeah. Right. We're going to yell now, though. 13 seconds. Let's to keep go. it up, Falcons! Let's go, guys. Let's go! Let's go, Falcons! Nice design to get Cougar with the ball. Now we're down to 10. Cougar got a lane, but he's going to get the big man. And that's a good block. And I think we're going to overtime, coach. No, no shot. No shot. They call no shot. Yeah, I give uh, that was a really good drive to go in. Yeah. Just oh. had his hands full. Just had his hands full. I just think shot. when you got a six-six guy coming at you, that makes that shot a little harder. Yeah. Yep. Maybe release it a little earlier. I, you know, for a moment there, I think he saw the backboard, and it, he had a chance. I, 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 I do not give him any grief at all for that. But yeah. good, good defense. Good defense. Clearly, he. Uh, it was good defense. He, he got a little bit of the ball, and he didn't follow him, sending him to the line. Maybe a Euro so, step? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have yeah. to spice it up a little bit because uh, you got to get to the you got to get to the hoop quick on a big guy. Yeah, so. you're almost in a situation like that. You're look, you could maybe find out 
find a kick out when you're going to get doubled like that. Yeah. You know, because there's definitely enough time for a kick out. Yep. And hey, but we're in overtime. They didn't surrender the lead. That, or they didn't break, let them break the tie. Yeah. So we play on. Yeah. So I, I, I guess I lied before when I said there was only so much left in the contest. There's now four more minutes left in the contest. That's right. We're going to tip. And I, I think Gage is going to try this time. Maybe Gage can yeah. intimidate. I don't know. Well, Gage wasn't in the starting lineup. It's so, true. Um, so they, I guess they deferred to Jacob. You got this, Gage! We got Cougar, Ian, Gage, Jacob, and uh, JJ. JJ almost able to get it, but we're going to start on defense. What can we do? Gage, good pressure. The spin around. Boy, he's a good player. Yeah, that was a that nice was a good move. move. He knew exactly where he was on the court. Strong finish. Jake looks for a screen, doesn't get a clean one. Comes over to the corner where he likes his mid-range. Ah, they reach in, get some ball. And uh, I am sorry for not having overtime rules in front of me to go over how foul situations work. I, I believe they... Foul should continue from the fourth. So that would be number five. I think we're going to get our first uh, uh, free throws here because of that. So freeze and threes. Yep. So these are freeze... Fouls will continue from the fourth, but I what I don't I, I don't know about the timeouts. It's true. If they now they might each have one. They might each, yeah, that, that we'll have to find out. What? We're just amateurs, yeah, what do we know? <laughs> I didn't get the email on the uh, <laughs> tournament rules. Let's go. It comes up a little bit short. Just regroup. Make sure you hit the next one. And he does. He's able to. So I don't know, can we give the ref the assist on that? Probably not. Uh, probably not. The Falcons are 7 to 10 from the line if I did my calculations right. And they're going to get JJ with a little bit of contact. Now. Yeah, I don't uh, know if that's... He's, I don't uh, think that's five yet for uh, Wildcats. Oh, no. I'm getting a mouth of five, maybe. Nope. Uh, JJ had a handful on that. He's got to get those feet. Got to get his butt low and slide those feet. Gage with Gage. an automatic block. Yeah. We were able to control it. That was a big-time defensive play yes, by Yes, it is. That sends a message. Cougar looks to push. Finds Ian, who's driving. Doesn't like it. Ah, uh, Gage a little ahead of the moment on that one. Yeah, I think he, uh, he a was A little undisciplined it. to shoot the three. But a little heat check. A little heat check. Yeah. They try to drive. Bad shot. Oh. Good footwork by the big man. He probably should have had an and one there. Yeah, it looked, looked like, like, like it, someone grabbed his other arm. Yeah. But, uh, but his body blocked the view from the ref underneath. So. Double dribble missed by uh, the refs there, too. Ian looked to... Uh, pull up on that and ended up dribbling. Yeah, shot off the mark. Okay. Two and 18 to go. Let's hope the Falcons can uh, keep their composure. 51, or 48, 51. And that's a nice shot on its way, but it comes up short. Gage able to control it. Uh, ga uh, Gage up to Ian. Yeah, I I'd like to see it you know, slow the tempo down. Don't force everything. Jake tries again, and, and again, I, it's not that I, I don't just hate the shot. I just it wasn't an we're, easy shot. We're, we're pushing it. We had, we the comeback involved patience. There's good oh. job by Ian, and he's able to steal it. And yeah, he had a little control. little fake closeout and backed up into the big guy. So only. One point here in the four, uh, overtime so far for the Falcons. There's a good drive. Not able to make a strong pass. Ian with a lot of contact. Gonna, gonna take a hard shot. No, not there. He didn't get and, the uh, I, I, I think, I think the Falcons are actually kind of fortunate that they got a timeout there. Yeah. The flow really is favoring the Wildcats right now. Yeah. 
Well, they're up by three with a one and 13 to go. And I wouldn't, overtime. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they start to stall. Yeah. You know, eat up as much clock as they can and make us foul. Yeah, three point, three point play. It's a three point difference. Pretty good at keeping the ball, you know, when they pass it around. They don't turn it over too, too terribly too much. But we'll see. Stay tuned. And that's why we're watching. Oh, we're up to 12 viewers. Wow. Thank you guys for uh, yeah. joining in to watch it. That's blowing the air. All right, so your Falcons will be on defense coming out of this timeout. Regardless of outcome, they battle back from 12 down to force overtime. That, to me, says something. I don't know. I think we still got a chance to. We definitely still have a chance. Not, I'm not saying it's over. Yeah. JJ does deflect that. They do look to play man-to-man -man full court. Cougar being aggressive. And uh, that's another reach-in foul. They're going to they're gonna have to call that. JJ's forcing that call. I think that's going to be possibly free throws. Ref, ref looking. I got a four number up there, which means they're one foul shy of the line. Fifty-seven seconds to go. Cougar's gonna foul here. They're telling him to foul. They gotta get. They gotta. So Cougar fouls. Cougar this foul. is where we missed the one and one, coach. Yeah, that's true. It's a different, uh, it can be a different strategy. You may choose not to foul at the end, but but yeah, we got to get the ball back and 48 and a half seconds to go. Maybe he misses the second. One and one right there, and that's, a, yeah. that's probably a gauge rebound, and we're going the other way. Yeah. Not a guarantee that right, it gets right. a rebound, but but it's a different game. The yeah. new rebound, the new uh, free throw rules are different. Instead, now we're down four. Yeah, but get a quick bucket, good bucket, and uh, Cougar's gonna look to shoot here. JJ fumbles it, loses it, but he gets it back. Jake's gonna drive. Finds Gage and finds Ian. Ian looking to do something. 32 seconds. Going to have to force a shot. Gets hit on the arm again. Yes, Jake. Jake gets a miss on that shot. But Jake's fouled on that play. And JJ fouls. And we're going to have 20, I believe, shoot two free throws. So. 48-52. 20 seconds. It's like 30s getting ready to check back in. But it's a two-shot foul, so it'll be... Looks like five fouls on JJ. Yeah, gonna they, have to they gotta get him out, out now. They, yeah, they can't wait till the second shot. Forty-eight fifty-two. Yeah. Five point differential now. Yeah. Just one point here, coach. Second one is good as well. That's timeout by Coach Irving. Timeout. They're calling time. Timeout. And uh, Mrs. Smith is going to call a timeout over here by us. Uh, <laughs> trying to make her announcing debut. I don't think the uh, I don't think the referees were expecting a timeout with a six point differential, but still, uh, precious time comes off the clock. Yeah, yeah. I think you... we were around 20 seconds when uh, Coach Irving yeah. was calling that. Now we're at 16-8. Yep. So any six point play designs in your playbook, Coach? I don't have one of those. Okay. Quick, quick three, and then three three and try then to foul. force foul a turnover or foul. Are you, at this point, are you definitely saying we need three, or are you saying just get a bucket, guys? What's your message? 
Probably. Hey, let's get a bucket. Maybe the points play off you know, later on in the tournament. I think the score, how many you score and hold them to, okay. can affect your position. Okay. Jake's looking to take a three. It's a deep one. Oh, my God. oh they closed the bank. Titus is going to foul number 15. And two more free throws coming. We lost a couple viewers. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we got one back. back. Okay. Yeah, Don't so. make us nervous like that. <laughs> so, unfortunately, the D3 didn't go. Had to foul. That rattles out. Wildcats not even electing to even bring a rebounder down. They're set yeah. up for defense. Just let it that play one out. looks deep too. Titus with the rebound. Clock starts. The end. Cougars going to shoot no matter what. It's going to be a bank maybe. No, Jake tries to rebound. They should let him dribble it out. And that's your final. So a seven to one deficit in uh, overtime. There. Yeah, yeah. The, the, you got to score. Yeah, the boys. The game. Yeah. It was an exciting game to watch yeah. uh, as they go through the handshake line here. I wonder if there'll be a rematch in the, uh, the bracket. You know, I don't think the teams in your pool will end up in the same. They'll send them off to different brackets. Okay. So, to avoid yeah. playing the same teams. Yeah. Yep. So, well, a lot of fun. Enjoy the game. Yeah. We want to remind our viewers that we will be back covering the Falcons. They have a 345 game here again at Rocky Top Sports World. <laughs> yep. And uh, we should be picking up coverage. You better check in early because sometimes know. those games run a little early. So yeah. we'll see you tomorrow here. Uh, no later than 345. That's what time they're scheduled to play. Signing off for now. Brought to you by uh, Brandon and Mike.